What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I don't even know where I am right now. I didn't sleep last night. I did just get back from uh, Vegas with Alex and Jordan. Uh, pretty solid weekend. <laughs> um, so we're running on zero hours of sleep. So let's see how this goes. As you can tell by the title of this video, uh, I did buy another car. The 4Runner has been long gone for about two weeks now and I just suck at this whole, you know, letting you guys know how, uh, how the new car is. But it is right here in front of me. I'm not gonna reveal it yet. We're gonna go somewhere cool um, after we eat some food because we have not eaten 12 hours as well. So here is my 2004 So, biggest selling point in this car is the color. It is Java Black Pearl. You can't really tell. Just, no, you will just, be. Hold just, on, hold on, hold your phone. Just because um, it yeah, is kind of dirty. It was Java Black Pearl. Oh my! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> relax, um, relax. It does have some uh, issues here, like these dents that I will have to pull out. You can. I'm trying to tell you, like on camera, you can't see the dents really. But those are some big boys. No, those uh, are those are big boys. Basically, I'm just gonna detail the car. I want to make it sort of an OEM plus build. So with that, I want to freshen up the suspension, make it tighter, lower it a little bit on some springs. Um, I don't plan on modifying the engine at all, really. Maybe a tune uh, with an access port, just to kind of get that boost to be a little bit lower in the RPMs. The car does have a nameless exhaust system uh, because there is no name on it. I found that out. No name. No, literally, you can't. No, like, actually, hey, no name. What exhaust do you have? Company. No name. Nameless. No name. That's the one. Along with all wagons comes one side skirt that is not there. Uh, absolutely. Fell off. So we're going to figure that out today. So what the big selling point on, for me on this car was the fact that it was a blob eye. Um, I didn't really want a bug eye. The blob eye is pretty cool to me. I really like the tail lights as well on these wagons. They're kind of more of an updated style uh, tail light like you see on modern cars today. Another thing that really sold me on this car was kind of the, the space that it had to offer for me just because I am coming from a 4Runner. I really wanted something that I could keep, the versatility that I had, as well as have some fun while I'm driving um, and be able to mod the car and enjoy a little bit more. The modifications that I plan to do this thing in the near future is I would like to get some wheels. The These tires are pretty much dead, so I'm gonna need to get some new wheels and tires for this car. Kind of fix the fitment in here because it is a station wagon. Um, the next thing on the list is going to be suspension. I think that the suspension is it's pretty comfortable, but it needs to be stiffer, needs to be a little bit lower. So I'm going to get springs and struts. I don't really want to get coilovers just because I want to kind of keep the OEM design. I think a rear sway bar would also help this car a lot, um, just to kind of help it track around corners a lot uh, smoother. I do feel it kind of shaking a little bit on Highway 17 here in Santa Cruz. As for the exterior of the car, I definitely need to do something with it. So I think that getting some different side skirts, uh, the sedan fenders appeal so much to me. They are Absolutely. sick as fuck. Excuse my language, but they are sick. Um, I do want to get a front lip. Uh, for some reason, I want a bigger scoop in the front. Like if it could go up to here, that'd STS be great. Scoop. STS scoop. All the way up. 100%. Need that one. Um, I'm gonna tint it, blacking it out completely. Um, and I'm gonna go with a gold and black theme, just traditional for Subaru. So I am completely new to the Subaru scene. This is gonna be my first ever Subaru that I have owned. I'm really excited and I'm doing so much research, trying to find kind of the right parts to get, the direction for my build. So I am looking for your guidance. So if anybody out there has some recommendations for me for suspension, for exterior stuff, I kind of want to avoid engine modifications, so if anybody out there has anything to help kind of steer me in the right direction for my build, please put links down below, comment, 
And feel free to DM me on Instagram. I am reachable through there. Uh, Instagram is right here. And I hope you guys are looking forward to this build. The Audi is not done yet, but I needed something to kind of keep me inspired.